Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I am super excited, you guys, because I took the rest of the recycling in. I have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I got uh, $25 and 15 cents. I put more of the change over there. However, I have a bunch of low priority sinking funds that I want to add money to every single week, even if it's only a dollar at a time. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amanda. I'm 35 years old. I live in Oregon. I'm an all cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income. I also talk about frugal living on this channel and I am not going to sugarcoat anything. So <clears throat> we talk about a lot of nitty gritty things on this channel and one is going to be how I plan on getting some assistance with some of the things that need to be done around my house, specifically weatherization related. I live in a 1966 single wide and I already told my budget besties who are members of this channel which I'll leave in the link down below if you want to become a member. You get a lot of free perks. Um, however, I haven't told you guys yet. So the weatherization program is for folks that make under a certain amount of money a year. Um, I definitely run in that category where if I am to work a regular nine to five um, hourly W-2 job, I probably make a little under $30,000 a year. My husband does the same. However, he's starting to branch out a little bit and he is starting to think about some trades that he's possibly interested in doing. Like he came up to me the other day and he was like, I've been thinking a lot. And I said, okay. And then we got in the car and he was like, I think I want to be a plumber. And I'm like, a plumber? Okay. So we're looking into apprenticeships for that. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen in a week. It probably won't happen by the end of the year. However, if that's something that he wants to do is to go get a trade, that would be fine with me. I will support it however which way we can. The only thing that's kind of crappy is that none of these programs are in our area so that would mean we would have to probably pack up and move and we just got to this mobile home park however you know nothing's perfect and this is a starter home i'm not saying we're moving because we definitely have no no sight in that anytime soon unless you know we get bought out of our park which still could be a very much so possibility. But I do want to make sure that I am being a very supportive significant other and that my husband feels like I'm willing to do whatever to make sure that his dreams come to come true as well. Um, he kind of got interested when our pipes froze last year and we had a plumber, which, you know, has become our plumber guy come and uh, do some work and he was like I actually need a hand um, I won't charge you as much if you come and help me like not trying to be weird or anything but yeah that's what I need and of course he was like heck yeah I will come and help you and then he was like dude you should be a plumber because <laughs> not everybody wants to do what you just did so he was stoked about it um, however, I did want to mention I am going to use this binder here that I got from one of the ladies that I watch regularly, uh, Busy Bee Budgets, and it comes with envelopes, which your girl don't need no more envelopes, I'll tell you that. I made a boo-boo mistake. I ordered a lot of envelopes <laughs> about six months ago, and I still have like 400 envelopes, but... I'm going to use these envelopes and I'm going to put these challenges in here. Um, 
we need to start working on some holiday-ish savings challenges. Um, I'm not going all out for Christmas. I already told you. I already told you, Bestie, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to go crazy with Christmas. However, I need to still do savings challenges so I can continue to save money, right? So we have most wonderful time of the year, and then we have Arctic savings with the cute little polar bears and the the penguins, and this is so cute. I just, I love it. These came from my most bestie of besties, Janelle Ray Budgets. Um, I talked to her on Instagram quite a bit. Janelle, check your messages. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. Okay, so these I'm going to do in this binder over here. And then these I won from... Um, <clears throat> I can't even think. I have to look. I watch so many of you guys, and y'all have such unique names. Um, oh, that was loud. Uh, this is this was won by um, a channel that I watch regularly, Budgeting by uh, DN US. She um, had a bunch of giveaway stuff for her 1K giveaway, and I won these little ones. And these ones, I can't tell what the name is, so maybe she will put them on there. But it's something, something designs, I can't hardly see. But they're low enough for me to go through these pretty quickly. Even on my low income, I think I could save $20, $23, $22, $21, $20. That's, that's doable, so I think we're going to do those. And then we also got this cute fall one. I absolutely love this. Um, this is kind of like my boots and my hat and my coffee. And uh, soon to be my pumpkin. And then these, this one, I believe is from yep, Ellie on Earth. Um, this one is Stuff's on a Budget. Okay, so those I'm going to do as well. And then we've got this cutie pie. Don't dis uh, Do not disturb. I'm disturbed enough already. I feel like that's me. And this one is by, um, where, where's the name? Oh my gosh, you put it so so small, I don't know. I don't know, maybe Deanne will watch us and tell us. And then this one, Sim Simply Living Saves. I love this unicorn. And then, you know, we can't not have some Disney in there. So we got some Stitch. Dragon of the Year, $35, between $4 and $8, and this is so freaking cute, absolutely love it. Okay, so, we have all these that we need to put in this binder, and I'm leaving them there, on the side of my desk. We're gonna do it. I say that because I'm like, where's my sticky notes? I can't figure it out. I also love these envelopes, I don't know who, which, way. I don't know where you get these, but Amanda wants some more. This one's busted on the side or it's like that. I'm not sure. I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, either way, I'm fine with it. I'm going to use this envelope. All right. So we have in house repairs. Uh, this is very slow and steady wins the race, right? Very slow. So these are $1 cupcakes and we have 10, 15, Oh my god, why did I say 15? 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 of them in here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put $2 in here. So let's go ahead and color these in. I lost my light brown. I don't know what happened. I have no idea. I am a, a huge, huge, huge fan of markers. I like colored pencils. I do like crayons in a specific situation, but I am also a pen snob. I love my pens. Love, love, love my pens. I have this pen that I kind of sort of asked if I could have, if I could steal it from work. It's here somewhere. I gotta organize this whole thing. This whole room is like a a show waiting to happen. All right, 
So now we should have 15 in here. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the weatherization program that I am trying to get in contact with, um, they should be able to help us with heat. We currently are not using the 1966 heating um, <laughs> system in this house. If I, if I did, I'd be a crazy person. Um, I definitely will never turn it on. I will never try to turn it on. Um, I don't want a house fire. A lot of these manufactured homes, actually all these manufactured homes in this park particularly, and three others in my general area, all have mobile homes that are 19, 1972 or older, um, which means that you got to be careful. Especially when your systems don't work like mine anymore. So I use a lot of space heaters, but space heaters are so expensive. And this year I don't want to have to use them. Long-term savings is a long-term savings situation. Um, this has $12 in it. So we got to make sure that that's right. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So anyway, long story short, they should be able to help with heating, specifically since um, my uh, situation states that we don't have heating at this current time. They don't consider space heaters as, he as heat. Um, so hopefully that will put us on the list for assistance pretty quickly with heating. And then there's another part of the program where they help you with windows, doors, and anything that has gaps, uh, cracks, um, big elements to the outside, um, which we don't have big elements to the outside, but we do have some issues with that bathroom. So that might be a solution as well to that. Um, I know that um, specifically um, if you are looking for programs like this. You need to go to your local churches. You need to go to, <clears throat> like, look up weatherization um, assistance. And sometimes even your power company can get you in and locked in this. Um, I only know about it because all my neighbors have done it. Literally all of my neighbors. So now this challenge has um, five six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 bucks in here, which is great. This is super long-term savings, extra, extra long-term savings. So 10, 24, balance plus two makes it $14. <clears throat> All right, on to Thanksgiving. This is for our Thanksgiving meal and or possible decorations that we want to use for the holiday. Um, it is one day, but I love fall. I love fall. But this is mostly for food. Because I definitely am not going to get enough um, in uh, EBT or in uh, food boxes to, you know, make, make the meal happen. Okay, um, so Thanksgiving should have 15. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I'm going to add five into this because this is happening sooner than I think. So this should now have 20. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I at least want to cover the bird. So plus five, $20. Balance 10 of 24. And you know what, you guys? Holidays don't have to be all out crazy. Let's buy everything. Um, let's go to Black Friday. Let's go to Cyber Monday. Doesn't have to be like that. So Christmas is already got this savings challenge. This is from the Budgeting Sisters. I do watch April and Melissa quite a bit. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. We have 32 bucks in here already. So I'm going to go ahead and put 10 in here because this is also going to come soon. So let's color these in. Let's use a red. 
from over here. Red. So, two, four, six, eight, and ten. And we're getting close to this being finished. Okay, so we have ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 42 dollars. All right, so 42 so plus 10, and that's the balance. All right. <clears throat> Anniversary is already fully funded. We have 40 bucks in here. I did not know, but Jordan also has saved a little bit of money. Um, he gets some cash tips with his job um, when he's busy out on the field. Um, so he said that he's probably gonna add like 20 or 30 bucks into this. So that way we can go out to a fancier restaurant and we can still go out to our $10 movie. All right birthdays i have two birthdays coming up my husband in november and little piggy my youngest is in um december my myself and my son are in april my oldest son little jay um we went all out because he had a 13th birthday now we have a double digits birthday coming up and my youngest will be 10 years old i cannot believe that already Sorry, I needed a drink. My throat was getting sore. So we have 20 in here. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, and 23. I'll put three in here. So we'll have 23. 23. Every little bit counts. So plus three, 23. Somebody asked me why I do that first. And so I don't forget the number because I'm ADHD and out, man. We'll be real, I'm ADHD and out. Bulk shop. It is what it exactly means. I'm bulk shopping for freezer and pantry goods. Um, once I get enough or I feel like there's enough in here to make a difference, we will pull this money. I'm not gonna go to Costco. I'm gonna go to Winco and I'm gonna buy bulk foods. Um, I am getting lower than I expected on things like beans and oatmeal and rice. Um, especially now that the hubby is gluten-free, um, we tend to go through a lot of rice. A lot of rice. Probably over 10 pounds of rice in a month. Okay, so let's see. How much do we have here? We have three. I wanted to put at least one dollar in Hello Kitty, but I don't have time to do that. We got a bulk shop soon. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We have 23 dollars in here, which is great. 23 dollars. So plus three, 23. And hopefully this shows you guys that every single dollar in here counts. Um, I literally have had just about 20, 30 bucks to put in here every single week. And even though um, it doesn't seem like a lot, if I added all this up, it would probably be a couple hundred dollars. So um, slow and steady wins the race. And that's just how it goes. And sometimes even if you're just doing $1, and each envelope, progress is progress. So do what you can with what you got. I'm gonna go drink my coffee and I'll see you guys the next one. Bye guys. This darn thing does not wanna shut off. Well, it's okay, bestie, I'm cheering you on. Bye guys.